For well over 30 years, the standard infantry fighting vehicle of the German Army has been the Marder. That has been progressively upgraded over the years, with the latest model being the, the A5. Today, that has started to be replaced by this vehicle. This is the Puma Armoured Infantry Fighting Vehicle and has been developed in Germany by a consortium consisting of Rheinmetall Land Systems and Krausmafei Wegmann. The German Army have ordered 350 of these vehicles and recently a major milestone occurred as the 200th vehicle was completed. Production is running about a 66 a year in two facilities and already a number of improvements are underway. In addition, to those 350 there are a batch of driver training vehicles and in the future there's a possibility of additional orders. If we have a quick look at it you can see the turret in fact is unmanned. The commander and gunner are seated inside the vehicle and operate the weapons which in this case is a 30mm Mauser cannon with a 5.56mm coaxial machine gun. In the future, that machine gun will be replaced by the um, 7.62mm machine gun and there's a host of other improvements coming through which are called S1 and S2. That includes improved situational awareness for the crew and also on the left hand side is a pod of two spike anti-tank guided missiles and all the vehicles as standard are fitted with jammers and if you look on the top of the vehicle you can see the commander's independent sight and above that is the MUZ. That is a soft kill defensive aid system. So if you look at the weapon system, a key feature of that is has a hunter killer capability in which the commander first detects the target using his roof mounted sight and if it is a, a threat he hands over to the gunner who carries out the actual target engagement. So that gives them a very rapid target engagement capability. It also has banks of grenade launchers and one of the improvements to be carried out under S2 is to put a special automatic grenade launcher in the back and that will fire uh, soft kill munitions and hard kill munitions depending on what target is. The vehicle has been tested overseas most recently in the Czech Republic but so far no orders have been placed. It has been fully qualified under a wide range of conditions and a few years ago underwent some trials in Australia. There are still some potential markets for this vehicle, one of them being a future Australian arm requirement who need a really well protected armoured fighting vehicle and this is one of them. So 200 built, another 150 to go, probability of an additional order and earlier vehicles will be upgraded to the common standard so there will be a common build standard across the fleet. It has a very very high level of protection which includes advanced armour, add-on armour and if you look on the sides of the vehicle round here, the top part, that is explosive reactant of armour and that gives the uh, vehicle a high level of protection against anti-tank weapons fitted with a heat warhead. Normally in peacetime that is not fitted, it's kept in the and that's fitted in wartime. <laughs>